Hey y'all, we are back. This is day five, I think, of 29 days of Zy Creations. You're going to hear my creaking machine in the back. I have some current things I'm cutting. Today we're going to make earrings. So I went on Amazon and I got the little molds from Amazon. Let's see what else I have. I'm not gonna do these. This is for Christmas. We'll we'll wait to Christmas for that one. I have some circles with little drops. We have some hearts. It was quite a few, and um, I think I paid like ten bucks for it, which was a really good buy. You have puzzles, elephants, music pieces, triangles like a diamond. You have the crown, the t-shirts, ice cream cone, and the cross, stars and a moon, butterfly and wings. And I think I have like four more over here. So, um, oh, and it came with the earring bags too. So I have my UV resin, my lamp. I have different glitter. Y'all have a bunch of glitter. I'm going to have some of these too. So I think this is cool if you have a daughter and you don't want to buy expensive earrings for her. And you want to make her some earrings to match some of her outfits. This is an easy product project for you. Um, I mean, this is cool if you're just a business owner and you want to throw something out for kids. I mean, it's easy. It's quick. Now, have I ever used the molds to make this? Nope, that's what makes this video special. We're trying everything a first time um, together. I'm trying it with you guys. So I poured some of the UV resin in here. Is it enough? I have no idea. Again, this is my first time trying it. I got this glitter from, I want to say Dollar Tree is where this came from. Not Dollar Tree, Dollar 25 Tree. Let's see. And my daughter wears a lot of pink. I have pink here. In this little container, I have some pink glitter. So let's open it and we're going to put it in this UV resin. Now, is it enough? We gonna make it enough. That's what we do around here. Have my little stick to stir it. It look cute. It's kind of thick, but that's kind of how the UV resin is too. Um, I'm going to try the circle and the square first. So what I think I should do is put this in here, let that adhere, and then you can always super glue, hot glue these to the back. But I'm gonna try to do just a drop of resin to see what happens. So let's see how it goes. You're going to hear my kids in the background, of course. They're loud, as always. I'm going to be doing some more videos this week. I think you guys might like. That's a little bit too full, I think it is. It fills up pretty quick, man. I'm going to scoop a little bit of this out. If you have a lot of little girls, I think this is a cool project to do with them. Well, uh, you might not want your kids playing with UV resin, but they can pick out their earring colors that they want. And you can kind of make them for them, you know. I think that's cool to do. So, I'm just picking out colors that I know uh, my daughter would wear. Because I was at Walmart one day, and when I was younger... My grandmother used to buy us earrings, but it would be like 50 in a pack. And they would just cost a few dollars. Now I think you get like maybe 20 pair at Walmart and they want to charge you like $8 for them. I think the number is kind of crazy. So that's full. We still have a little left, so we might do something else, another color with that. I'm going to move this here. Put it under this UV light. I'm going to hit 60 seconds. 
once the 60 seconds is over i'll be back so we'll know if we need to hit the 60 seconds one more time it's been 60 seconds let's see what happened it feels a little hard to be on the safe side i'm gonna let it go 60 more seconds one more time while that's going i'm mixing up some silver for the next pair of earrings we're going to do is going to be silver now how are we gonna do this back part I guess we'll cross that hill when we get there. I'm thinking that's what we're going to do. In all honesty, because I have no idea. I didn't think that through, I think, before I did this video. I was just like, oh, let's do our next video. They let you know I'm just trying to make sure I get my 29 days of videos in for you guys. If you haven't um, went to my website... Go to Zy Creations, www.zycreations17.com, or you can do Shopify, and it goes to um, Zy Creations. This glitter is like a black silver. It's actually not just silver. It's a grayish looking color. Can you tell? With the lighting, that's probably crazy lighting. You can't see. But yeah, let's see. Oh, these are cute, y'all. They feel hard. Should I take them out? The back feels sticky. So I want it to go again. Let's go one more time. So that's 60 seconds. This is our third go round for it. So let's get ready for our next earrings. Since I see it's really thick and it, it doesn't take... um. A lot of it looks like. Let's do a triangle. And we have a diamond, but I don't know if I have enough for a diamond. Can you see this? I want to make sure. Um, my ring light is currently out of commission. I have a two-year-old, so we're in terrible two stages where everything is um, broken. And it's a boy, so he's... He's very, um, <laughs> he's very into all my stuff. Said that way. So that kind of killed my ring light I had. I'm waiting on another one. So hopefully I have one. Um, before the 29 days is up, I know I'll have one by the time the 29 days are up. So that's in there. It's only a tinge of that left, so I don't think I'm going to worry about that too much. Let's let that sit up under there. Here go the pink ones that we created. Y'all, they feel good. Now my thing is, um, these do feel a little sharp. So... I got a foul somewhere. My nail foul is downstairs, I think. Um, I might put a foul to them to be on the safe side. I'm not for sure. I'm going to be honest with you. I know I don't want to use hot glue for the back of these because that's... She's just going to take them off because she be doing some ghetto stuff sometimes, man. And earrings and uh, Miss Zayana. Mm-mm. They don't go hand to hand like that, really, to be honest with you. So this is my purpose for doing this is so I won't keep buying earrings. I just, I ain't got it. I'll tell you what I'm going to do. I'm going to put this back in here. See if I can just get a drop. If I can get one drop of um the reason to sit and keep this up. I think that'd be um, better, I guess. We gonna try. You don't know until you try it, correct? And Zy Creation 17, we all about trying. Um, we're all about trying new things. Making earrings like this is new. Have anybody ever did the um, cardstock earrings? Because I did them, but 
they were not a hot seller. So I ain't doing no more. Let me know if you want me to do a video on the bamboo earrings. I'll do one. So I kind of got this set up. Put a little risen around it. We're going to do this one more time because we did these. We did this set three times, I believe. Now, when you play with reason, you're supposed to wear gloves. Don't be like me. Now, don't do what you see me do right here. Wear gloves, but I play with this stuff all the time without gloves. And this literally is a thin drop of the UV reason. I just want this metal to stick on here. That's what I want to happen. I think this will last longer instead of hot glue. Now you could E6000 it, but I wouldn't put no E6000 on somebody's stuff that they're going to put on their ear. Um, the reason I'm okay with because I've used this to make, like I said, the bamboo earrings. I use the reason, so... And I think this would be cute, like, if you wanted to just customize them to the T, you could put, uh, use your, your vinyl and put in here and then put the epoxy on top of it if you want to. That'd be a cool thing to do, too. I guess the sky's the limit on this, too, huh? <laughs> I tell you the sky's the limit all the time. I guess the sky's the limit on making these earrings, too. Y'all, I don't like the way this stuff is moving around. Well, it's not moving. I'm bumping it. Let's put it that way. It's kind of hard to keep a steady hand on doing this. Okay. So I have each earring backing where I want it. I am going to remove this one. And I'm going to gently slide this over here. And I'm going to hit the double. For this one, this did go three times. And they look perfect. They're cute. I do have the extra from where it was too much of it. Look at that. These are cute. I don't even know why I took them out. I need to um, <laughs> put these back in here. And we're going to get the earring backings. Going to put this back on there. Let's see if I have enough pink to do the diamonds. I don't want this stuff to go to waste. I want to use every bit of what I got. Oh, no. y'all, I just got some pink on here. Why did I do that? Well, won't let it go to waste. We're going to put it at the back to hold it together. Look at me. I'm messing up, but I'm trying new stuff, so I'm not going to trip. that one go one more time so the black ones we have already used the UV the pink ones we have not so let's try to see if we put this in here before they're done like submerge it a little bit how would that go up oh, there you go you see how it's gonna go let's try them anyway i think they're gonna i mean if it's a black or a dark color blue or something you shouldn't see this but i don't know again this is new i'm trying stuff so let's just see what happens it could come out cute i'm not for sure and we're going to let that go up under the uv light next I'm moving this over, so that's what's squeaking. Between that and my chair, I don't know what squeaks the most. Okay, 
So the black is not enough to even do anything with it. So I'm not going to even try it. Let's put this up under here. This on here. Look at it. It's on there. So I'm going to get a fingernail file and I'm going to go around it. Y'all, we done made some earrings. These are cute. So I'm an adult and I like these earrings. That's a problem. Let's see what else we have. Excuse me reaching around. I didn't really prep myself. Um, I guess this is a butterfly and an apple. I think of a crown. I think of uh, gold is what I think of. So another cup. Let's see if we have some gold in here first. And we do. No need to open up the other gold. Let this go one more time. Can't get this open. Okay, there we go. We got our gold off in there. I think this is going to be cute too. We're going to put some more UV resin. Y'all, I'm almost out of resin as you can tell too. I need to get some more. I'm staring the gold up is what I'm over here doing. And I really just want it for the crown. I don't have no other need for it. I'm ready to see how this looks. Here go the black ones. Here go the triangle. Y'all, so this did exactly what I said it was going to do. It goes to the bottom and it shows. So if this was black, you would not see that. So the best way to do that silver part, I think, would be to let them dry and do them like we did the pink pair. Put them on top and then put another coat of UV resin on it. I'm going to do the crowns. Get a fingernail file and file them so you can see the finished product of the earrings. And that's going to be a wrap for day five. Let's see what day six holds. Drop in the comments if you, you think you have an idea of what day six may consist of. Look at all that gold. I'm going to move some of this over to the next one. It really takes just a small amount of this stuff. I bet she's going to say, where's purple? Because uh, pink and purple, of course, a girl, those are her favorite colors. And I have no purple. I'm over here doing gold, pink, and <laughs> black. I tell you, I know I'm going to hear it from her. Hopefully, she's just going to be excited that mom made her some earrings and that's it. But, you know, little girls can be diva to the max sometimes a little bit too much for me. My daughter overdo it sometimes, a lot of times. I really can't judge because that's a lot of me <laughs> that's in her. So, this is our goal. We're going to take these earrings. We're going to start them on 60 seconds. Let me see if I have enough UV resin to do another color. I have two purples. So I have a shiny purple and a light purple. 
purple. I think I'm going to go with this purple. Let's see. This chair is so squeaky. Look, I got a cup right here already. Let this go. Well, that's kind of hard. So give me a second. I'm gonna put this in here, and I think I'm gonna, I'm going to go ahead and add the back to the gold. I still have UV resin um, over here left over from gold, so we're going to get some backings. Um, on Amazon, they do have where you can buy the backings, um, the plastic ones, I think that's what they are. Um, I'll have to go back and look. And this extra um, resin that you see, I'm going to go back with a fingernail file. Because I think my drill is downstairs in my garage where I normally do my epoxy stuff at. And I'm going to foul it to shape it, if that makes any sense to you. So I'm going to put this back in here so that it can go with the earrings again. I wonder if could you get away with selling these like two pair for five dollars or something? I don't know. Never know till you try, right? Here is that purple. I'm using the same um, thing I used for the pink, and I'm stirring the purple. And we are going to do. I think I had butterflies somewhere right here. We'll do some butterflies. Right there. We still have a good amount of purple. Let's put some down here too. I just can't do purple apples. I I don't see myself doing that. Um there's something else we have over here. It's ice creams across. I don't know what purple ice cream there is, but today she's going to have purple ice cream. So we have some little drops and some butterflies and ice cream that's going to be purple. Let's remove this. I have to place that one and that one there. Go for 60 seconds. All of this is stuck together. I'm going to pause this video and go get my file so that you guys can see me file it down. Okay, y'all, so I'm back. I found my nail drill. I'll change this out once I finish this video. Let's just get this going so we can finish this video and we can see the end part of it. Um, you know when you're dealing with epoxy, there's always sharp edges. You kind of want to... 
sorry, make sure those are cleared up. You can use a fingernail file to do this. I'm just using a nail drill because I didn't want to use a file. I think this will be quicker. And that's the earring we have there. Let's go to the circle one. This is the very first one we tried. And I'm basically making sure these corners are rounded off and not sharp. Because if you're going to sell them, you don't want this to be sharp product. And this is going on my daughter's ear. I don't want it to be sharp when she wears them on the side. Because that's exactly where it's sharp at. Just trying to square those off. This right here. And that's another earring. The squares look kind of good. They're just sharp on the tips. Now I keep moving out the camera. I'm so sorry. It's a habit to have this stuff close to me looking at it. The square. Like I said, we're getting the sharp pieces out. that and I don't think I'm gonna let her wear these but let's just you know these are the ones we put the earring backing in them and then let the UV resin go on it the reason I don't like these more so is you see you know what I'm not gonna even do those it's gonna be a waste of time that's because of the earring backings All right, y'all, I'm not going to bore you guys with this video. Recap of the video. We have some molds that I got from Amazon. We use some UV resin and glitter. We use earring backings. We basically made earrings. You can make them for adults or children, you know, whoever you want to make them for. Um, if you guys are interested in the earrings that I bought, well, not the earrings. The moles that I bought, let me know. I will drop it in the link below. This is so freaking cool, bro. I will drop it in the link below. And um, <laughs> as always with Desire Creations, thank you for looking and listening to our video. If you like what you see, give us a thumbs up. If you would like to see more of our videos and see when they first um, drop, Hit that bell notification and happy crafting.